morning, it's Saturday, and we are in the 14th day of Advent. This week is the week of love. Uh, I, I want to talk to you for a second about light in the darkness. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, came to lighten up our darkness. And many of us are walking in darkness right now. That's true. Uh, you know, it's uh, December is the, the darkest month of the year. December 21st is the darkest day of the year. And some of us are walking in 2020 in this pandemic with some darkness, dark days. Uh, dark days of disappointment, of distress, of doubt, of depression. And here's what the word of the Lord is to you. Jesus said this in John 12, 46. Jesus said, I have come as a light to shine in this dark world so that all who put their trust in me will no longer wander in the darkness. Do you trust the light? Do you trust Jesus Christ, the anointed one, the light of heaven? If you do, you won't wander in darkness. Tomorrow at New Life Church, we're going to be meeting in our, our, our new tent we, we put up out at the Southwest Campus. Our Northwest and Southwest Campus is coming together again. And I have a special guest. Her name is Angie Ritchie. And Angie Ritchie is... Uh, uh, president of Life Pacific University, but she's also a uh, marriage and family therapist. She's going to be with me. We're going to be doing an interview, conversational message together on mental health issues and the stuff we're talking about. How do you overcome the darkness of, uh, of these issues, these dark days that, that we go through? And I want you to invite your friends to come out. If you have a family member dealing with some of these issues, loneliness, depression, anger, or worry, whatever it may be, I want you to invite them to come out tomorrow. Jesus Christ is the light. He is the light of the world. He's your light. He's my light. Let's walk today in the light of God. And, and just like in the Thule fog at night and you can't see, Jesus is going to lighten up the way for you today. Jesus is the light. I love you. See you tomorrow.